everyone. So now I'm going to show you how to edit the photos that you've taken. Um, so if you watched the last video, um, I showed you how to use the webcam and how to use the timer um, and how to kind of get ideas for taking different photos. Um, and now I'm in photos, right? So um, once I finish taking pictures um, in my camera, um, I can click on the pictures down in the lower right hand corner and it brings me here. Um, so now I'm in the photos application rather than the camera application. Um, and so here are some of the photos that I took. Right, so I just walked around, took pictures from different angles, tried out the timer. Um, and, you know, I like these ones that are above the rug, from above. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna click on um, a picture that I like. And I'm gonna show you some different tools you have for editing. Um, so once you open the picture in Photos um, and you click on Edit and Create in the upper right hand corner here, this brings down a menu. And let's start with the Edit tool in Photos. Um, so it opens up in Crop and Rotate. So here I can, um, I can drag the, uh, the corners here and drag them in so that I just have what's over the rug, because I love that rug. Um, I can also rotate or do a mirror image. Right, I can also um, get a diagonal here. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me get this back to zero. Zero. Okay. Um, so now I could also go into filters up here. So this gives me some different um, kind of color options. Um, and there are filters both in Photos and in Paint 3D, which I'm going to show you after. Um, they have different filters, so if you don't like any that you see here, um, you can hold off and check out um, the filters in Paint 3D. So for this picture, I kind of like the Sahara filter. Um, you can also adjust the filter intensity. So you can make it more intense or all the way down to normal, right? So just a slight or really intense. You know, somewhere in the middle. Um, you also have this enhance your photo, um, which um, kind of bumps up your contrast and uh, the clarity of the edges of objects, makes things pop a little bit more. Um, and then the last um, menu here in Photos is Adjustments. Um, so here you can make your picture lighter and brighter with the light. Um, you can adjust the saturation of your color. So you can make your colors richer or more muted all the way to grayscale. Um, clarity is similar to Enhance Your Photo. Um, but you have a little bit more flexibility. Um, it kind of makes the edges of your things sharper if you go this way um, and makes things blurrier if you go this way and fuzzier. Um, and then vignette is um, the edges, right? So you can darken the edges or lighten the edges. Make mine just a touch lighter. All right. So I'm going to save a copy. And now I'm going to go back to this Edit and Create menu. And now I'm going to show you what you can do in Paint 3D. So I'm going to edit in Paint 3D. And this will open up this photo in Paint 3D. <clears throat> and one of the things I'm going to show you is how to combine uh, more than one photo into one. Um, so before we dive into Paint 3D, I'm going to come back to Photos and look at some of my other photos 
And I'm gonna bring, let's see, maybe I'll bring this one over. All right, so I am going to edit with Paint 3D. So this will bring this photo also into Paint 3D in a different window. So now I've got Paint 3D open in two places uh, with two different pictures. Um, so let's go back to this one. And I'm going to zoom in. And, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Undo. All right. So, um, so the coolest feature that you have in Paint 3D that you haven't learned yet is Magic Select. Um, so if you click on Magic Select, um, you can remove an object or a, sub or a person or whatever from the background of your image. So um, you're going to drag the box, the highlighted box, to be around the object you're trying to isolate. Click Next. Okay, and now it kind of guesses at where the edges of my object are. Did a pretty good job, um, except it, it got this weird stripe. So um, if, you're, if it didn't guess very well, you can adjust um, the cutout using these tools over here. So um, you've got add if it missed something and remove it if it got something that isn't part of your object. So I'm gonna remove that, okay? And it did a pretty good job. Um, just a tip, if you want a good cutout, um, it's best to have the object, um, to take a picture of it against um, a, a background that is either a, you know, a solid color or just something kind of plain um, that is a clearly different color um, than your subject, right? So the program is just kind of looking for the edges. Um, and if you have a background that kind of blends into the subject, it's going to be harder to separate those two things. So you might, if you want to use the magic select, you might even want to take some pictures specifically against a blank wall um, or against a, you know, a floor um, to try and make that, um, that a little bit easier to pull, pull your subject out. Um, so now I'm going to put it done. Okay, so now I have this, uh, you know, I can, it, it kind of uh, tries to fill in the background, but it doesn't do a very good job. Um, but as you see, I can move my myself around from where I was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it where it was, but I'm going to copy it, All right? So now I have it copied to my clipboard, okay? So I could, I can paste another one. Um, and there are all sorts of things that I could do with this. I'm gonna turn mine upside down. Okay, I can reduce the size or increase the size. Uh, now I'm gonna copy this one that I made. Oops. Right, so if, if you wanna copy it, Right, you copy it and then you have to click away, otherwise it removes the one that you already have. So click away and now I can add as many as I like. So now I've got a bunch of me's over this rug here. Um, and another thing I can do Right, so I have this photo over here again. So let's look at some other things that we can do. Um, <clears throat> so you do, of course, still have your brushes and your 2D shapes that we've used for other projects. You can still use those on this project. Um, one that I've been using a lot um, is to go to 2D shapes um, and grab a shape. Could be a square or anything else, but adding that shape over my picture. Right, I'm gonna change it to a solid fill with no line, and then adjusting the opacity, right? So I can get a stronger um, color shift here by choosing my color and adjusting how opaque that shape is. 
Okay, so now I'm going to do magic select again. Might be a little harder this time um, because the colors are a little bit more similar now, but let's see how it does. Click next. Pretty good, just a couple little stripes I have to remove with my eraser. There we go. Done. Now I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to my other one. And now I can paste, paste this guy in as well. And you do, once you've separated these, um, these objects from, um, from the background, um, you, can, you can move them around. All right, so maybe I want to delete that one. And paste in this one. So um, let's see, one last thing I haven't shown you yet is effects. So if you go to effects um, up here, um, you have some more filters to choose from. So as I said, um, there are some filters in photos and then some filters also here. So if you don't like any of the filters in photos, you can check out the filters that are here in Paint 3D as well. <clears throat> All right, and last but not least, let's save this. So I'm gonna to go to Menu, Save. Okay, I'm gonna call it Narrative Photography 3. Save it. And now I'm going to pull up my PowerPoint presentation, how you submit all of your artwork. Right? I don't have one that I'm actually using, but you should. Most certainly you should have yours. Um, so I'm going to go to Insert Pictures. Right? I saved it in Pictures, and I called it Narrative Photography 3. And I'm going to add a little text, narrative photography, all right, then you save your presentation and now I can grade all your hard work. Uh, so uh, thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed this project, goodbye.